we're back. And if this looks familiar, it's because I have played this once or twice before. I can't exactly remember. I, the only definitive time I remember is playing, uh, well, talking about the Lego thing, and a lot of people seem to really like that. It might be because this is, like, one of the only games on Hypixel that I'm consistently good at, except for, like, three maps, and I can't exactly look at my screen right now, but, okay, Western did not get chosen. Distance is the hardest easy map, but this is the only game mode that I actually practice in, but what did I arrive at my computer and hit the record button to talk about today. Well, it's something that is arriving very soon. It's Halloween, uh, just right around the corner. And so I absolutely love Halloween. Um, I wouldn't say it's my favorite holiday, and I'm not actually even a person who, like, enjoys the spookiness of scary things. But I think getting all the candy and stuff, it's its one of the most memorable holidays, besides maybe Christmas. Uh, I wouldn't count, a, I count birthdays as holidays, but I wouldn't count it as like a, like a total holiday. And on birthdays, yeah, you get stuff too, but it's, and same with Christmas, but I don't know, it's just something about Halloween feels different. And I... I love, I just, I don't know, it's just something about me that makes me love Halloween, but, again, wouldn't say I love it more than Christmas, but I'm gonna explain why. I think it's the dressing up part, I, I, th that's my favorite part, I, even though I'm not very good at it, I think it's, um, it's definitely the best part for me. Uh, my favorite memory from Halloween is this one time that me and my friends, you know, uh, were over at my house. This was a, I don't know how many years ago. This was a couple of years back. Uh, we were out trick or treating, and so I was dressed up as Steve. Hold on, I'm sorry, as Steve from Minecraft. Um, and so after a while of walking around, I th I don't remember like exactly what I was wearing, but I do remember that I was wearing this gigantic block head, and I think my dad was an Enderman, um, but I was wearing this huge block head, this cardboard box looking block head, and, and it was, it was cool, it did resemble Steve, it wasn't really one of those rip-off type of things, but it also definitely wasn't the best, um, because it got, like, either, it got, like, too heavy, um, and it also got, like, way too hot after a while. So, I'm r sitting there with practically, like, this microwave on my head. And so, eventually, I take it off. And then, what I can only presume that I probably wore, like, jeans and a blue t-shirt with the helmet. I'm going around wearing just this blue teens, uh, and jeans, sorry, and, um, a t-shirt. And it, it's funny, no one, you know, no one at the houses that I went to ever questioned it, but it's just, uh, it's, it's weird that I, it, that no one questioned it. I, I remember taking it off and I looked, um, at my costume, what it was now. Basically, it looked like I got dressed on a Saturday morning and then that was it. That's all I decided to do. That's pretty much what my costume looked like. But no, it was a Halloween costume. Uh, I remember this other time, I was, uh, again, out with my friends. Me and my friends usually, they, we used to go to the house every time we used to go trick-or-treating. But this dude, I'm, it, I don't think it was the same Halloween. I think I was dressed up as Death, although that might have been a different year. But I was dressed up as something, and that's not the important part of the story. And there was this man that we went to the house of, and, um, he was talking, uh, he was saying how good our costumes were, and this, I don't know, you, you, I'm gonna have to place a pin in this date, because I don't actually know where it is, um, but it's right around when Fortnite became, like, super popular, and I was never and have never really been into Fortnite, 
but my f uh, one of my friends was, and so this dude, because I think he was dressed up as like a Fortnite skin, I'm not sure, uh, asked if um, we could do any Fortnite dances, and then this, uh, my one of my friends, wow, this feels semi-cringe to talk about, starts doing the floss, and then the dude gives him extra candy. Bruh, what is this? Why can't I win? Why, why can't I win the immense amounts of candy? I, I need that. And I, ne I need the I need the I need the candy man, but he he didn't give us like a basket of chocolate bars. He didn't give him a basket of Hershey's Kisses. He just gave him like a like a simple few pieces of candy. Well, it wasn't that much. I think my friend was dressed up as a Pikachu, so I don't know why the dude assumed that he would know any for well, Fortnite dances. But yeah, eventually I. I think that, um, eventually, during all those nights, we would, like, you know, you'd have to go back home to your house, and, uh, since all my friends were over at my house, they would all come back to my house, and we would, uh, after this, it'd be like, it wouldn't even be that late, it'd take an hour to go around to, uh, my neighborhood, and, um, after we did all of this, after we already finished all of our candy collecting, We'd trade it. This is, I've heard, if I'm correct, very common, but I think that if anyone else is doing this, let me know, because that is funny. We used to trade candy. It was, it was like the best thing ever. Um, uh, you know, I, we all had our different tastes. Some of us couldn't even eat the candy. I remember, I really love Tootsie Rolls, Hoshi's Kisses. Um, so when, uh, when this, um, when one of my friends is like, because I don't, I don't like Twix, yeah, I know, I'm, that's depressing, but I don't really like Twix, and one of my friends is like, you know, I'll, if you give me all your Twix, I'll give you all my Hershey's Kisses, and I'm like, jackpot, okay, this is a good deal right here, and then, of course, you trade, and he gives you four pieces of candy, you give him, like, three because Twix are bigger than Tootsie Rolls and then you look and like four of the like all four of them are unwrapped one of them is like just the wrapper or something because like the, all the candy has already fallen out where is everyone I feel like I'm in a creepypasta right now uh there was no one in the lobby um guess I'm gonna have to go back to the where is everyone it's so weird um let me go all the way back over here. And of course, you know, you, you wouldn't end up with a good trade. But it was still worth it to try, I guess. Uh, you might as well. It wasn't it wasn't going to get any better if you kept uh, yourself with all the garbage candy. You need that good candy. Um, but that didn't always happen, unfortunately. Sometimes you get stuck with, like... Because, I mean, okay... Most of my friends are good. Well, hold on, let me rephrase that. Most of my friends during Halloween are good, kind-hearted people who would never betray anyone. Okay. But then there's, like, always those people. You always have, like, one, one or two friends. Or you know one or two people. And it's those take-one candy bowls. They take 400. They just take the bowl. They, they leave, like, a $5 check to Wendy's or something. It's like, thanks for the candy, sucker. And then they'd have all this candy, and they, it's like, they get a thousand... I, I, I don't remember what... Smarties. I love Smarties. They have like a billion Smarties, and you have like zero, because you took one, and then they just kidnapped the bowl. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty sad when that happens. And then they end up with all the good candy, of course. So, you never get any of the good ones. I mean, I'm not having PTSD from Halloween, I swear. But, it, it's not the best thing that can happen. But there's always that one person, so it's not like Halloween is ruined at that point, of course. I mean, it's, it's, it's practically, it's not even really over yet, because then you go back, again, like I said, after you're done trading, okay, you can do a little something that I call, no, me personally, I call this stealing. And this is like the best 
best idea there is if your can if your if your candy your friends just stole everyone else's candy okay if if they just they were like here you want one smarty just give me 40 billion twix and then while their back is turned you just take it that was a joke i don't condone stealing okay no 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 condone stealing don't arrest me please but i mean is that you make them a trade that sounds good. You you look at their candy that they stole. Here, let me let me show you. You look at the candy that they stole, and they stole 400 Tootsie Rolls. And, and you really like Tootsie Rolls, okay? I don't care if you don't like Tootsie Rolls. Just go along with this. Um, you really like these Tootsie Rolls, okay? And so you want them. But you notice that this person likes Twix, and in that bowl that they stole... I'm like Dr. Seuss over here with these rhymes. Um, they, there was no Twix. So they have like one Twix, you have five. And then you say, I'll give you like five Twix for 400 Tootsie Rolls. And then they're like, heck yeah, dude. I need some of those. Give me the candy. And then you give it to them. And of course, they feel really good because they're like, haha, sucker. I gave them like something that I hate and is a bad candy. And they gave me five Twix, and then they realize that that was a bad trade, because what you should do, I'll give you some, some tips, these will only be useful if you do this, is trade off your candy to the person with the least candy. Why? Why would you do this? It's because they need more candy. They they need it, so they'll, they'll make an offer like, let's say they, they loved Smarties, and they had a bunch of Hershey's Kisses. Like, let's say they only had Hershey's Kisses. Very hypothetical situation. Um, so, you have... And, and, and you want these, right? So you make them an offer. I'll give you more candy than there is. Six Smarties for five Hershey's Kisses. Now, this is a good deal... For them, obviously, it's more candy and the candy that they love. But if you already had a lot of candy and you, let's say, didn't even like the 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 um, Smarties that you just gave away, then you can just take these Smarties, give them away, and you win. But most importantly, that person wins. And then, okay, you end up with someone who will trust you for next year's trades. Do you see what I mean? It, it, it's like economics. I'm going to call this video something that I just thought of in my head. So if you're, if you're listening to this live on camera, you're going to see what I named the video and what exactly point that I realized I should name it this. But it's so, it's so simple. You never want to trade to the people with more because... Well, I mean, sometimes you do, but you never want to exactly trade with them because they already have enough candy. They they have no problem upcharging you because they wouldn't technically be losing anything. So, what do you do in that situation where everyone has more candy than you? Well, well, really, you're stuck. Um, there's probably something you can do. Uh, I guess you could you could always like another lobby with no one. You could always attempt. Oh, never mind. There was someone there. You could always attempt to trade with the person with the most candy. Say like, can I have some free pieces of candy, sir? I have like two pieces of half-eaten candy bars and a toothbrush. Will you will you kindly give me some stuff? And then they give you that stuff. And they don't like it. You find someone that likes it, you trade it. And then you get more and more. And since you're trading less for more, like we discussed, even though the person can think it's more, after a while, they realize that they've actually led you to become the person with the most candy. Meaning that they're going to you. And so let's say, after all of this, you have the most garbage candy possible to you okay people it's like a game of go fish people will be giving away the candy they don't like while others still might like this candy okay so you see what i'm getting at here you're gonna take that candy you're gonna trade it back to them you're gonna give it back not to the people who 
gave it to you, but to the others who also gave you candy. It's... It, it makes sense. Okay. But after a while of doing this, you know, it's the end of the night, you gotta go to bed sometime. But what if you're not satisfied with, with today's earnings? Well, you're gonna want to do this one trick, alright, this one simple trick. It's called hiding the candy behind you. Go sit next to a wall and hide the candy behind you. Please, sir, can I have some more candy? Yeah, I already got 40,000 pieces, but I need some more. I don't know. Listen, okay, use, use my first tactics, not my more, uh, scummy tactics, I guess? It, may, it makes more sense in principle to just do the nicer tactics because again it's all about building reputation. I feel like I'm taking this too far but I think it's pretty funny nonetheless. It's all about building reputation. You gotta make people think that next year you will be as beneficial and next year you you be that beneficial. You still be that nice. Be that nice for two years. People will learn to respect you and then that third year upcharge the prices. Are we still talking about Halloween? I've completely forgotten. Outro. More like Halloween-tro.